point out some points that I would like to raise from my side. And uh, point number one is that with regard to the road connect connectivity. So we are so grateful to the Honorable Chief Minister so, for the Chief Minister Rural Connectivity Scheme, which was meant for the rural road, which is left out from the PMJSY scheme. So. so I'm very much thankful to the Honorable CM and also to the MDA Government One, which has done a tremendous work in my constituency with regard to the road sector. So, uh, in the past five years, there are so many roads that has been constructed in my constituency. But however, sir, there are still so many roads that needs to be addressed or that needs to be sanctioned at the earliest as possible, sir. So therefore, sir, I would like to request upon the Honorable Chief Minister, there are a few more roads, uh, villages, I mean villages in my constituency, which are yet to be connected by a proper road, sir. So the name of these villages are Mobandu Village, then Madan Barwai Village, and also Umsalite Road, sir. So th these are the three main villages which are yet to be connected by a PWD road, sir. I mean a proper PWD road, sir. And also, sir, I've raised the issue from time to time with regard to the construction of one Katkasla Mojem Drikendeng road, sir. This is a very important road, sir, because it connects all the villages which is there in Block 1 area, sir. If we can construct this particular road, sir, most of the problem of the people who reside in Block 1 area will be solved with regard to the transportation, sir. As present, sir, there's only one Kacha road, which is only, I mean, possible only during winter time, sir. Come summer time, when the rainy season starts, that means this road can be used for transportation only by the big vehicle, only by the four-wheel drive vehicle only, sir. So that's why, sir, I would like to request upon the Honorable Chief Minister, and since the Honorable Deputy CM in charge PWD also is here with us today, sir, so I would like to request upon them, sir, to kindly look upon this particular road, sir. Because there are so many incidents that is happening in Block 1 area, sir. And I know if this particular road is constructed, the people of Block 1 area will be very happy and most of the problem that they suffer with regard to the transportation, especially to carry their goods and sometimes when they face some, uh, I mean, some patient that needs to be delivered to Juai or to other part of the state. So that's why sir, I would like to urge upon the Honorable Deputy CM also along with our Honorable Chief Minister sir, to kindly look and pay special attention with regard to the Katkasla Mojam Jikandeng Road sir. And also sir, there's one road in my constituency which need urgent attention, that is the Madan Pokse Lakasein Road sir. Why I raise this particular road, sir, because Madan Poxi falls under West Genty Hills and Lakasen falls under East Genty Hills district, sir. These two particular villages, sir, they are just separated by one small river. So, merely about 30 to 40 meters away. But however, sir, whenever people want to travel from Madan Poxi to Lakasen, sir, they have to go all the way from Shangpung, from Pramer, till they reach this particular location, sir. So in the process, it will take minimum up to five, five hours, sir, to reach. Whereas, in reality, sir, ground reality, we are just standing on one bank and to the other bank of that river, sir. So that's why, sir, I would like to watch upon the Honorable CM along with the Deputy CM, PWD, to kindly look at this particular road, sir, the Madan Pokse Lakasin Road, because this road is very important. It will be a connecting point between the two districts in Janti Hills, sir, <coughs> that is West Janti and East Janti Hills District, sir. So, sir, with regard to the border infrastructure, uh, we cannot deny the fact that the uh, Previous government, MDA1, has done a lot, uh, I mean, in trying to bring the development to the Block 1 area. 
and also along the interstate border. But however, sir, I would like to request upon the Honorable Chief Minister, sir, to kindly enhance the budget provision which was meant for the interstate border program, sir. Because even though we have been trying a lot in the past five years, but still there's a lot of things that needs to be addressed and that needs to be done inside Block 1 area, sir. Because I've seen and have been to many of the villages, and I saw it with my own eyes, sir, that they didn't have even a proper drinking water. There's no playground. There's no school building. There's no electricity. There's no internet connection. So nothing is there inside this block one area, sir. So that's why, sir, if at least from the government side, we could increase the fund allocation, which was meant for the ISBADP, sir. So that with this fund, at least to some extent, we can help those people who reside in Block 1 area, sir. And also, sir, when it comes to education department, we are so grateful to the government, sir. In the previous five years, MDA 1, we have been sanctioned from time to time with regard to the uh, construction of new government LP school. And I think it has benefited all the 60 constituency in our state, but how are, sir? Like I've said before, there's something that needs to be uh, that needs to be done some more, sir. So, first of all, sir, I would like to request upon the government and also to the uh, to you, sir, to the honourable chief minister, with regard to the extension of classroom for Kiang Nangba Government College, sir. We got the report from time to time, year after year, that especially in class 11, sir, the enrollment used to touch 1,200, sir, for the class 11, especially for the art section, sir. So it's very difficult for the college to manage all these 1,200 numbers of students. So that's why, sir, I would like to watch upon the government to kindly look at a possibility, maybe, so that some kind of sanction to be provided to the, for the extension of Kiang Nangba Government College, especially for the 11 and 12 standards, so. Honorable members, please wind up. Uh, you have taken eight minutes. Okay, so then, uh, just one more point, sir. I would like to request upon the Honorable Chief Minister. I think, sir, even our CM also, he remember that uh, maybe in the last two to three, two years, we have, he has been visited in my constituency. There's one program, sir. Golden Jubilee celebration of Saolong Dot Higher Secondary School, sir. So I would like to watch upon the Honorable Chief Minister, sir, to kindly take special attention with regard to the school building of this particular school, sir. Because the CM has been there, and from the village side and from my side, sir, from time to time I've been raising this issue, sir. So I would like to watch upon the Honorable CM to kindly look upon this matter. And, sir, uh, with regard to the civil submission of Laskeng Block, so, sir, I would like to watch the Honorable CM kindly respond, sir, with regard to the demand that was that has been making from time to time, and that is the upgradation of Laskin Block into a civil subdivision. You have been kind enough to give so many civil subdivisions, so many districts, so many scenarios, then why not our Laskin Block, sir? So, sir, I would like to watch and I would like to request upon the Honorable Chief Minister kindly, sir, look for the uh, upgradation of last game block into a civil submission. With this few submissions, sir, I would like to thank you once again for giving me this opportunity and I resume my seat. Thank you, sir.